day one of Up and Adams at the Super Bowl, 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 Bowl. It's kind of quiet here on a Monday. We're in Phoenix. We got here yesterday. Marissa, are we going to be rowdy on our set? Oh, the rowdiest. We have... An 818 bar, uh, a very handsome bartender pouring it up here. Can I have one? Thank you. There's vitamin C in this. No judgment. We appreciate the 818 bar. I don't know what this ping pong situation is. Marissa. Hamilton almost made that in. We have ping pongs. We have beanies. We have tequila. And we have guests. Jay Cutler. Ever heard of him? Smoking Jay? We're going to show you his live but on our television show today. Christian Kirk will be here in person. And Brandon Marshall sh will surprise Jay Cutler. Are they friends? Do they get along? It's, it's his worstly depicted public relationship, in my opinion. Okay, bye. Okay, it is legit my favorite time of the year. Super Bowl week is always the best, even on a Monday. There's barely people here. This place is empty. It is ever. Still. I'm excited. I walk in. I see Boomer. I see Hamilton, who I never get to see because he lives in New York. Me and Marissa are ready to go, and we are amped. I just want to say, I am overflowed. I'm not even kidding. I have so much gratitude for this moment. This set this is awesome. looks insane. Blowing my mind. Just the graphics. FanDuel, we appreciate you. Kevin Grigsby, Richard Isakow, everybody behind the scenes. We've got amazing camera crew here with us. So thank you so much to FanDuel and everything from the top down. Hamilton, my main man. I'm happy to see you. We've done this Super Bowl thing a couple times, you and me. I know. This is awesome to be back. This is so exciting. Just the energy coming in here and being on set. Even though it hasn't really kicked into gear yet, this is this is yeah. fun. And we've got a hell of a game, by the way. Kansas oh, yeah. City. Philadelphia in just a couple of days. We've got insane guests. You're probably happy because you're a diehard Jags fan. You're the one. Yep. You're the main one. Sorry, not the one, but the main Let's one. Yep. And you've got Christian Kirk on the program. I can't wait. What yeah. a what a uh, you talked about Trent Balky and, and yeah. his moves he made this all season. That was probably the biggest one and he balled out. A lot of people question that contract, but he tore it up this year. Yeah, he's buying the drinks for everybody here on Radio Row. That's what I said. I want lunch. I want to bring donuts. I mean, it's all on Christian Kirk. We have Brandon Marshall joining our show. Of course, I am athlete. We've got that going on. And we've got, I mentioned a quarterback. People think it was Joe Burrow. I was talking about the franchise quarterback on a team that I am beholden to. Jay Cutler is I don't believe he's coming on the show, but maybe, maybe sort of keep your fingers crossed and hold on to your butts. Let's do this. This week is all about teams and love and the whole media world coming together, all sports fans coming together, the NFL, music, Rihanna at halftime. So there's some things that I need to see happen this week and into the Super Bowl. Let's manifest. This is something that I've done for the past year or so. We want to visualize the best NFL players, the greatest their position. So yes, can we get Jay Cutler, the white whale, on the show? Sean Payton. Listen, he said he'd come kick it here the entire day tomorrow, and then he took a job as the Broncos head coach and told me he's not coming until Wednesday. So we will see. Can we get Sean on the show? He was our first guest on this program. Um, oh, okay. Churros. Sure. I need to find churros at all costs. If somebody finds a churro in the Phoenix area, alert me immediately. Um, dog mask. Can we bring it back? A little nostalgia didn't hurt anybody. They're certainly not the underdog in this matchup, but 2018 dog mask somewhere at Radio Row. Super so uh, Gronk can be like, what is that? I don't know. I don't know that. Marissa, our our heart and our soul of Up and Adams, she's a huge Eagles fan. I need her to get in a legit fight. I, Elbows. I, I saw they just lowered Cheetahholic's bail, so there's a chance. Okay, Cheetahholic is the guy, speaking of masks, that held up a, what was that? Uh, he tried to rob a bank before the... So it was unsuccessful? Tech. Yeah, he's, he's in jail, but they lowered his bail. There's a chance he could Okay, well, Chiefs all like, he probably yeah. will not be getting in a fight with Marissa, but there are some scrappy Chiefs fans out here that I need to see her get in a fight with. What's the, what's the other one? What's the, what are the other manifestations here? Andy Reid look like, eh, three tight ends on the show. Gronk will come on the show. We're days away from the kick of destiny. Yeah. So he'll be on. Uh, an Aaron Rodgers appearance. Okay, that's not easy. Didn't he just golf all weekend? Yeah. All right. Did pretty well. Uh, Super Bowl ticket for Marissa. Ooh. Man, I might just give her mine. I feel like um, Marissa wrote these. Kay will put the wasted in waste management. Okay. I can see that. I can see that happening. Sponsored by 818. Halfway there. Yeah. Hamilton Super Bowl parlay hits. What else is new? That's not hard. <laughs> and uh, I need to find an I got more lanyards than you guy. That's right. Mr. Lanyard. 
Guy who likes to rack them up. A lot of lanyards flying Like he's got the bracelets in the club, senior frogs, and he's like ready to party, that guy. Um, okay, Sunday is six days away. So I wanted to, as we're going to have guests on guests, Jake Cutler, Brendan Marshall, Christian Kirk today, I want to give you the three things that I personally am looking for in Super Bowl 57. And let me begin by saying, I don't care who wins. I love both of these teams. I really don't. I'm not in a place in my life where I'm rooting for one or the other. If the Bengals were in it, I'd want the Bengals to win over the Eagles. KC, what a story. Great dynasty, great situation. Jalen Hurtso could not love him more if he does it through his shoulder with the new head coach. They just won in 2018. If they can get that done with Miles Sanders, I love Miles Sanders. And I'd be rooting for them. I want both squads to show out and put up a good performance. The first thing I'm looking for um, is the Eagle side coasting through their first two playoff wins. They got an early lead on the Giants, and they just ran the ball. They pounded them into submission late in the run game. We had Boston Scott on our show talking about it. And the Niners turned, you know, it was a no-contest situation as soon as Brock Purdy exited pretty much. So Jalen Hurts' shoulder, I know we don't want to talk about it. I know we don't want to talk about it. But it hasn't been tested much since he's come back. And while I'm not sounding any alarms here up in Adams on a Monday morning at Radio Row because I'm obnoxious and everybody's yelling at me already, I think the shoulder is something you have to look at as a factor against KC if he's not 100%. Look at this. This is pretty glaring right here. He's averaged 100 fewer yards per game. His completion percentage has dropped significantly and his passer rating's down 24 points. Jalen, he's been pretty open about the fact that it's still an issue. And I don't think the Eagles are just going to run away with the Super Bowl the way that they ran away with the first two playoff wins. I just don't. We're going to see that arm be tested. And he's got the guys to throw to, and he's got the coaching, and he's got what it takes. But it might just be an injury thing. The Eagles um, are going to need him, and he's going to have to have a day and get after this young Chiefs secondary. God, I love my job. Okay. The second thing I'm looking for um, is I'm looking for I'm looking for Christian Kirk and I'm excited about that. In the Super Bowl matchup, Casey Philly, Steve Spagnolo. Oh, Spaggy, we love you because if there's one defensive coordinator, I don't ever want to face in a big game. Underline, highlight, bold that it's Spags. He has given us so many examples so many times that he is able to somehow brilliantly come up with the solution, the plan, the solve, and get the most out of defenses that have stars, that don't have stars, unheralded guys stepping up in the biggest moments. You saw what he did to Joe Burrow and my Bengals in that AFC title game. We all saw it. Let's not forget where his legend, though, and his legacy really took off. That's right. We're taking you here ahead of Super Bowl 57 to Super Bowl 42. It was right here in AZ, New York Giants. It was his first year ever as a defensive coordinator with a group that ranked just 17th during the regular season up against the undefeated, wah, 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 New England Patriots. And maybe one of the greatest offenses that we have seen in the history of this beautiful, beautiful, lovely game. He designed innovative and genius pressure packages. Hamilton talks about this to me all the time. The Giants sacked Brady five times. They got to him. They pressured him. They made him uncomfortable. They hit him relentlessly. And they held New England to just 14 points to pull up the greatest upset in Super Bowl history. And then, oh, this is some good footage, Hammy. Yeah, this was uh, this was one of the greatest game plans in Super Bowl history that he put together. Yeah, that was faggy. And then look at this. This is 2019, first year in KC. He's tasked to come in and fix the defense that was set to be the Chiefs Achilles heel, right? Nobody was talking about their defense, and that would be the thing that's going to hold them back from winning it all. Then, masterful again. Brilliant performance against the Niners dynamic offense. They forced a couple of huge interceptions, and, you know, they just lived in that San Francisco backfield down the stretch. It was not pretty, but very nice for Spaggy Baby. So as much as we talk about Mahomes, the Chiefs offense, Spaggy's ability to get these clutch performances out of this defense has been such a critical part of what this franchise has been able to do as they chase a dynasty, as they continue a sustained run of success. And I don't think he gets enough credit and he's not being talked about. So we're starting our show. We are starting our 818 filled week talking about Spags and he'll have his work cut out for him on Sunday. He's going up against a team where he started his coaching career. And he spent eight seasons working for this Eagles squad. And the Eagles offense, as we all know, it's a different kind of headache to you know game plan for. A potential Lombardi number three is not going to come easy. Okay. This is so fun. Why do you think people are hesitant to drink tequila at 8 in the morning? 
It's quite refreshing. It'll pick up as the week goes on. Uh, it will. There. Christian Kirk on the way. Brandon Marshall on the way. And then whoever we see, I just want to hunt down. Maybe we can get like a lasso and just pull him in and get on here. I don't know. I'd be we're excited gonna, about that. We're going to get kicked out before this week. Why is not? Over. What if we just trap him with a big net and say, come over here? Okay. You know, what, you know, Boomer. I was trying to get Boomer on this. Boomer just ran out of here. FanDuel family. What is that? He bolted. He bolted. Family on family one look crime. At what we had going on here, you saw the ping pong table. I don't like that. You know He's who's out. on our show right after us? Pat McAfee show. Everybody watches and loves it. Take a look. It'll be right here from this set, uh, and I cannot wait to see him. I mean, I'm just the warm-up back for the energy show that's going to be McAfee and company. So, uh, let's get to the last thing I'm going to be looking for. Um, what is this Chiefs? passing game going to look like. Mahomes' ankle likely won't be 100%. McCall Hardman, doubtful. Kadarius Tony, Juju Smith, Shusa, they're both questionable. I know the Chiefs were able to figure it out and lean on Kelsey and Marcos Valdez-Scantling, and they, you know, sort of squeaked by the Bengals after all those guys left the game. Two fans are not going to like that I said squeaked by. Okay. It's true, though. Okay. It's yeah. hard for me to imagine that the Chiefs can do this for 60 minutes against a team as loaded as the Eagles are top to bottom, giving it their all. So, listen, I know they have Travis Kelsey out there, and weirdly Travis Kelsey doesn't get enough credit. Like, they have him. They have him. That cannot be understated. But it can't all be on Kelsey. So if this receiving core is still this banged up come game day, who, who steps up? Who says, I'm going to be the hero? And if Mahomes is, you know, is able to get to Marquez Valdez-Scantling and the Justin Watsons and Noah Grays and the Sky Moores, and he gets to throw to those guys uh, on his way to winning another ring on a bum right ankle. Who's Should we, should we just fold the table now and just like wrap it up for the next five years? You're going to have to like create more rules to make things tougher on him going forward. Well, you right? tell me. I think we're still... Do we have Christian Kirk? I saw him. I Do see we him have back Christian? There. Oh, yeah. Christian, you're hiding from me. All right, we got Christian Kirk coming up, so we're not going to bore you with the dull drums of, of uh, Pat Mahomes and his legacy. But here he is having it up with Marissa. All right, we'll be back after this. we got to get out of here, uh, and we will have Christian Kirk joining us. Christian Kirk, you buying breakfast for everybody? Or? Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, it's on his tab. We'll be back after this. Yeah! And then we've got Jay Cutler on the show, Brenda Marshall on the program, Up and Adams at the Super Bowl. Yeah, hey, let me feed the beast. Caught for the touchdown, Christian Kirk. Let me feed the beast. Christian Kirk, I gotta feed the beast. Okay, this is history here. It's Up and Adam's first time at the Super Bowl, and our very first guest joining us to kick it all off is a local boy from Phoenix, Phoenix who plays all the way across the country. He just finished his fifth season in the NFL. Five years already? This past year, he set career highs, uh, excuse me, in receptions, in yards, in touchdowns, in bags of money. Please welcome in Jacksonville Jaguars wide receiver Christian Kirk. Hi. Hi, how are you? It's so good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay, what's your vibe so far with the Super Bowl week? It's like all, it's all the signage everywhere. All, it's like yeah. a high vibe. Obviously, since I'm from here, it's really cool to see the city kind of like embracing everything and everything that they're doing for us. So I know everybody's excited here. Okay, tell me about Phoenix. I've only been here once, really. It was for 2015 during the Super Bowl. Yeah. I went to the golf tourney. I went to waste management, all of that. Like, where are the, what are the best parts about Phoenix? Where do I need to go eat? Yeah, well, there's so many different places that you can go eat. Obviously, the Mexican food here is great. But, oh like, gosh. that's probably the, my favorite part about living here is there's so many different food options and, like, just the quality of food, the different restaurants and whatnot food scenes unmatched and you can literally get anything out here you can go hide camelback you can go down waste management open is this week so that's going. a lot of fun i'll be there on friday go out there and see a lot of people that kind of grew up with and you know had some relationships with and then obviously all the stuff going on with the super bowl we love that and hope i mean your jacksonville jags are trending that way you've got great coaches we're going to get into all of that but um the arizona cardinals were your local team growing up right yeah look at you back in high school could we have this what is this, uh -oh. this is christian kirk back in high school oh, were you no. were you the mascot we're, or you were with the mascot what do we got do we oh, have this oh wow Just talk me through this TBC. look at how little you are <laughs> no. That is a uh, Arizona Cardinals Player of the Year. So I won Arizona Cardinals High School Player of the Year my senior year. I think that's my senior year. It's got to be. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Uh, the, we love that. The jorts. I don't know what, what kind of shorts. And you were drafted are. by them. And after four great seasons, you uh, went from the Cardinals mascot to this one. Do we have that one? Oh, our guy. You got this guy? I don't know what's going on back there. There we go. Is. Now, what did you that's, make of this when this happened? That's our guy. We had actually, That's our guy. actually in the offensive meeting, we had him as one of our uh, our like staple backgrounds for our, our presentations for our meetings. He just 
kind of brought the energy, set the tone for us. Did he really? Yeah. Well, he's, he's a, you see he's him dancing violent. in the back of the end zone. Um, talk to me about your season. It ended short. I know you had bigger goals as a team. Mm -hmm. But for yourself, career highs, I mean that, 84 grabs, and you made plays in the biggest moments too to mm -hmm. try to get your team deeper into the playoffs. Yeah. When you look back at how the season went, how do you feel? Um, you know, it felt great. Uh, definitely accomplished a lot that I wanted to accomplish just for me, only for myself, you know, just going out there and improving that I'm the player that I know that I am and have always have been. And, you know, going to Jacksonville and getting those opportunities and, you know, with the team success that we had, that was, you know, what I wanted to do is help bring that team along and, you know, help be a part of something, you know, and grow something. And that's what we're growing there in Jacksonville. And, uh, you know, we're, we're really happy with, you know, we're the strides we were able to make this season. And, you know, we're all hungry for next year, though. You obviously were in Arizona, so you got the taste of another NFL quarterback and, and you know, some of those things. When you play with Trevor Lawrence, what's the one quality that stands out about him? Leadership. Leadership and his ability in adverse situations to just persevere but also stay within himself. Um, you know, it's easy, and I know everybody, you know, talks about, you know, the Chargers games, but there are so many different times, you know, you look in October, we were on a five-game losing streak. Yeah. And, you know, he never blinked. You know, his approach never changed. If anything, he, he worked even harder. He was hard on himself. He was critical, accountable. And, you know, when you have that, those type of qualities, especially in a quarterback who just turned 23 this year, uh, you know, it's pretty special. So he's only going to get better. And, you know, those, those are some of the things that I appreciate about him. One of my favorite things about NFL, because I'm, I'm a fan, I just love to watch, is a quarterback and their wide receiver. Right. And that clicks. And I see it, you know, Aaron Rodgers is coming on our show at some point this week, him and Christian Watson. How that, you know, it was not hitting at all. And then all of a sudden it started and it was great. You guys have that. I'm looking at this year, 84 catches. So I'm not going to short you out. I'm not going to say <laughs> 1,108 yards receiving, eight touchdowns. You have more receptions than Mike Evans and Scary Terry, the captain, Terry McLaurin, okay? More receiving yards than DK Metcalf and Jamar Chase, number one, and more touchdowns than Tyreek Hill. How, take a victory lap. You're too modest because you know everybody said, why did he get that paycheck? Why did we pay him? Yeah. Like, how do you feel personally vindicated by that? Well, it's funny because I still feel like I don't get the respect that I deserve. And it's kind of been that way. And you know, with all the noise and after I signed my deal this off season, it was, you know, it was the loudest. And then now, you know, especially with the season that I had, you know, started getting real quiet and everybody kind of, you know, kind of hushed a little bit. But I just, uh, I want my respect. You know, I feel like I'm one of the, the best receivers in the NFL and that's the way I play. That's the chip that I carry on my shoulder and um, I'm, I'm going to keep earning it. Yeah. yeah. So how do you do that? And what's the personal goal for you? What, what, what will it take you think to get that respect? You and Trevor, because Trevor yeah. doesn't really get it either. Honestly, it starts with us, you know, as a team. Um, coming back out next year and being the team that we know that we can be and taking that next step, you know, going from the divisional to playing in the AFC Championship to, you know, making the Super Bowl push. And I know that's the only thing that we have in our minds. Uh, obviously, it hurt. We got that, that taste in our mouth of, you know, being that close, being one game away. <clears throat> and so, you know, we want to get back there. Your last win of the season, oh, my gosh. One of the best comeback wins in all of NFL history. I want you to talk me through this. You're down 27 a zip, wild card round. You know, you went on the field goal, but it is this touchdown in the fourth quarter. Can we please cue it up? And Christian, just talk me through this insane play. So it was, <clears throat> it's basically, you know, one of our red zone plays. A lot of the touchdowns that I've scored this, this past year, um, you know, we're out breaking routes like this. And it's almost like a clear the court, you know, one on one. It isolated me with the nickel. And uh, I just had to go win. And Trevor threw a great ball, ah! allowing me to kind of just shield him off, put my, you know, put my body in there, and uh, just make the catch. You know, it's, 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 these are the moments that you work for. These are the moments that you know it all kind of starts you know, paying off for you. What do you remember from after the game? I know everyone made everyone like Waffle House was the story. That was the <laughs> script, right? Yeah. We're going to Waffle House. What, yeah. what else do you want people to remember from like how you felt, or what do you remember? I personally was in disbelief, like total shock had no clue like what happened you almost you know for that second half, second half you almost black out and you're just so locked into you know just taking it one play at a time one play at a time and then you look up and you know we send the field goal team out there and we're kicking a, a field goal to win the game I didn't personally look at it I, in those moments I just face the crowd and whatever reaction they give me so just you know hearing them go crazy knowing that it came in and 
you know, we were able to win the game. It's just like a sigh of relief. Like, my goodness, like we did it and, you know, we're on to the next round. But just total shock and uh, exhaustion, too. That was, you that were was exhausted. a lot. That was, a, that was, you know, a long game. And, what did you, you know, do for the game? Effort. Literally went home. I think actually me and my fiance we went and got Taco Bell. Did you? Yeah, we went. And got, Take we went, that Waffle we House. We got some Taco Bell. And, Listen, some uh, of the best receivers like Devontae <laughs> Adams love Taco Bell. It's yeah, not a bad move. We went. We went and got some Taco Bell. She loves Taco Bell. So same. Yeah, we. Uh, love we Taco Bell. Best late night food. Best. So so we went and just went home and went to sleep. That's amazing. You yeah. were tired. Yeah. I can imagine. Oh, what do you exhausted. make of this game? So it's it's you know in your hometown Phoenix, two crazy good teams in different ways. Yeah. Who who has the edge? You think? It's tough, you know, like you said, both high-powered offenses with great defenses, um, you know, two really great quarterbacks with a lot of weapons, and it'll be really interesting to see. You know, obviously, we played both of them. Yes. Played Philly earlier in, in a monsoon, and then uh, <gasps> played Kansas City twice. Oh gosh, I don't know why we don't have that. I would love to. Yeah, we should have asked yeah, you about that. Yeah, that was the, the coldest game I've probably ever played in. I mean, weather-wise, temperature-wise, I didn't say it, but with the amount of rain and the wind and whatnot, yeah. oh, it, was, it was brutal. What makes them, uh, what's the scariest thing about them? I mean, the Defensively. Fact, I think as a team, Philly, they can win any type of way. You know, if they need a throw for 350, they can throw for 350. If they want to run for 250, they can do that. And so when you have an offense like that, you know, that, that's really hard to stop. And then defensively, it starts with their front. You know, when, when you have that front putting the pressure on the quarterback, and then you have guys in the back end that, you know, are ball hawks that can make a play on the ball. You know, they're, they're, they're pretty complete all around. And, uh, you know, Kansas City has, has the same type of playmaker. So... It's They're tough. all banged up. I don't know. Like, are they, are, you know, are those younger playmakers, yeah. the Sky Moors of the world? Yeah. McColl's not playing. Juju, veteran now ish. Right. Like, is he going to be able to make those plays on that secondary? Yeah, you know, I think so because he's been there in those type of moments before. He's been in the playoffs, and, you know, a lot of those guys have. Um, they have Marquez as well, and, you know, guys that can go out there and make those plays, and they did it, you know, in, in the AFC Championship game when they needed it. And so they're definitely going to rely on them. They're going to rely on them heavy, but, you know, it's. It'll be tough. I think it's going to be close. I don't, I don't yeah? think by any, I think it's going to come down to the line. Yeah, I think it'll be a, a great game. Okay, Christian Kirk, nobody's rapping me. No, I'm getting no nothing in my ear from anyone, so I don't know if it's uh, left or can we come down there now? Oh, let's come over here. Christian Kirk, we're going down here. Right, I'm going to take my it. 818 with me. <clears throat> okay, it. we're going to go down here because we've got lots of goodies. We've got an 818 bar. Yeah. Christian Kirk, did you hear me? One of the best wide receivers in the game. Sorry, DK. Sorry, Tyreek. He had more <laughs> touchdowns and catches than you did. Here's the deal. How good are you at ping pong, though? I'm pretty good. Okay, so we here's the deal. We have these incredible swag bags. When I see one of them, we have all this going on over here. Okay. If you hit, you're going to have 30 seconds. All right. If we need you to hit three, and you get a, a Up and Adam swag bag. If you don't hit three, I get to text Doug Peterson from your phone. Oh, Lord. Okay, so you all better right. get it going. And, if, and keep more. going. <laughs> keep going even if you hit three because we're going to have a leaderboard. Do I have to use a paddle? No. Just you can throw Just them, you throw. can bounce them, whatever. Okay, are all we right. going to start? 30 seconds on the clock, and... Go! Oh, oh okay. keep close. it going. Here, I'll help you on this side. Come on, here we go. I'll help you over here. That's one. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Get in there. Got it. Dang. Oh my gosh, we're close. Did y'all rig this? There we go. Okay, two, two, two. How many times? Oh. 19, 20 seconds. Come on. You got it, at the buzzer, at the buzzer. Stop going. One more. Oh! One more. Oh! That counts. That was at the buzzer. It counts. That was at the buzzer. Oh, I was going to send Doug Peterson a crazy text <laughs> messages, so that's good that that didn't happen. All right, we're going to give you this. We're going to say thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you and, so uh, much. You hear the love we give you, right? I do. I do, okay, and I really you hear appreciate it, it. Because people want to talk crazy, and we love you here thank you. Uh, on the show. Thank you so much. I'm an up and Adam stand. You're now. the best. I, see, I appreciate, thank you. I appreciate thank you. that. Thank I appreciate you. that. Don't forget us when you're... You know, when oh, you get what you want and I your won't. dreams come true. Okay, <laughs> we'll be back after this. Jake Cutler and Brandon Marshall, are they, what's going on there? We will talk to both of them after this. Jake Cutler, the white whale, on the show. Thank you. NBC <laughs> Sports Boston. Hi. Listen. What? You and I had a really good time here, once upon a time in 2015, when they didn't run the ball with Marshawn Lynch. No, they didn't run the ball with Marshawn Lynch. Malcolm Butler made a play. The Patriots' second half of their dynasty was jump-started. The next thing you know, bam, Yeah. you're a star. 
you got, you guys. I saw Matt Casey. I saw Matt Casey from NBC. He's an intrepid producer over there for my Florio and company. And we relived my uh, on the field antics from that game. She was a legend. She remains a legend. Where's the camera? Do you guys see the up sweep? Look at the up sweep on the on the makeup. Yeah. Yeah. People think I, you know, it's just makeup. I'm already getting texts like, "What'd you do to your lips?" It's called lip liner. Yeah. Get over it. Read a book. Read a book. Um, what's going on with you? Are I'm gonna see. I just got in last night. Okay. Had a bit of an adventurous flight out. Tell me. On the plane, two hours on the tarmac. The guy, the pilot, was great. He comes out. He goes, "We basically have to do control alt delete. Oh. Shut the <laughs> shut the plane off. Didn't reboot. We have to go out and get back on." We, flew, we got here at like five. But again, this is the kind of we stuff that as a you. sports fan, people like hear that stuff. They go, don't worry about it. You're at the Super Bowl. Don't worry about it. You get to be at the big game. Um, wow. We have lots of stuff, fun, fun stuff going on. Can I tell you what, why you're up here right now? Yeah. We just grabbed Tom because I just My saw him. My back is sweating because I'm nervous because I got... Why? Because I, I just walked... No. So here's what happened. Back. So I So I have been bothering Jay Cutler all year. Saying things, you know, Brandon Marshall, he'll be on our show in just a little bit. Brandon Marshall comes on our show. We talk about how neither of us can get and nail down an appearance with Jay Cutler. He's got his beard, he's got his bourbon and his TikTok and his podcast, and I wanted him so bad. And his agent promised me that we could have him today, and they canceled four minutes ago. Smoke and Jay? Smoke and so Jay. So I'm basically a placeholder for Jay? Is there anything more Jay Cutler than him not caring about not appearing on the show? I don't think show, it's a not like care mine. thing, Jay. That's oh, I think it is. Thing, is it? I think it is. I'm taking it personally. So now Brandon Marshall's going to come on after you and pile on. Does but that, I wanted to ask him, like, do you miss football? Like, do you, uh, uh, what, are you and Aaron Rodgers cool? Like, why well, wouldn't I add a million questions? We had Devin Hester to talk about. There's a lot of stuff to get through with him. There are times in my life where I confuse Jay Cutler and Jake Plummer. No They're way. cut from the same cloth. Not a pan, not a chance. Yeah, a little bit. Um, what are you looking for for this game before we let you go? Really, I think that the Eagles are pro you you have the better team, I think, which is the Eagles yeah. against a transcendent player. He is a transcendent player, and we can talk. The guy who covered Tom Brady for twenty plus people. Yeah, and I think he's really going to end up in that top five of quarterbacks. In my estimation, he's already passed guys like Rodgers in terms of resume. Mm. That was a. Mm, I don't know if I agree with you. That was a. Mm, I don't know. Agree. Here's the reason. If he wins, and if he wins this week, then there's no conversation. He's yeah, going yeah. to his second super. He's going to his third Super Bowl. He's won one. If he wins the second one, and I'm not all big on the resume because I think that yeah. Mahomes and Rodgers are as talented as we've ever seen, and John Elway fits into that conversation. Yeah. Who's the most talented? But to me, Mahomes is going to end up on that that plane with Manning and Brady. Really, love to hear it. Who's the winning wins before we let you go? Uh, Eagles win 23-22. It's oh, Monday morning. I, didn't um, know that. I know. I don't even I'm know why I'm saying that. that. Thing. We're going to let you go. I want to take a commercial break and okay. then come back because Brandon Marshall is waiting to hang out with us on our show. We appreciate Brandon Marshall because he keeps his commitments. And if, listen, if there's ever a war <laughs> or if it ever comes down to Jay Cutler versus Brandon Marshall, you know whose side I'm on. We'll be back after this. Tom Kern, I love you. Tell me what you know about me. If I said it, then I meant it. And then what it's going to be, I see. Everything that I want in my reach Ain't a game I ain't playing If I am, it's for keeps I'm too heavy Too heavy Too heavy Too All right, welcome back to Up and Adams at the Super Bowl um, I appreciate people who keep their commitments I appreciate loyalty um, and all of that. And you know who I can always depend on? Not only to come on the show when they say that they'll come on the show, but to literally relieve me from any planning on the show because he will just talk and talk and talk and take it where he wants to go. That's Brandon Marshall. Brandon, welcome. Hey, what happened? What happened? Do you have a cigarette? Listen, I don't know. Cigarette it, you? Listen, maybe... May, yeah, Smoking there you go. Day. Maybe it was. Smoking Jay. Smoking may, Jay. Listen. Maybe it was an emergency. So, like, I don't want to put my foot in my mouth when this eventually gets cleared up. But the fact of the matter is, I wanted to put one to you and get one on the scoreboard for Kay Adams versus Brandon Marshall so bad that I lowered myself to basically beg Jay Cutler to come on the show. And then I'm making videos like, we got Jay Cutler on the show. And he did me dirty, I think. Wow. So yeah, it's over. Listen, don't feel bad, Kay. Uh, he once told me he was going to come to my wedding. 
and um, I look out in the aisle, and there was no Jay Cuddy. What did he say? Where was he? I didn't talk to him. And I, I didn't talk to him for another three years until I got traded from the Miami Dolphins to the Chicago Bears. Is that true? Is come on, we don't lie on up in Adams. <laughs> yes, it's true. The night, two nights before the wedding. Yeah, I'm gonna be there. I'm coming. Wow. You know, Tony Scheffler came. All the boys came. We're having a good time. And all of a sudden, all right, he'll make it tomorrow. Yeah. He didn't make the he didn't make the party. He'll make it tomorrow. Nope. Mm -mm. Wow. We'll Logical. get him, though, okay. Kay. We'll thinking? get him. Kay. It's gonna be epic. We're gonna get him. We'll get him. We'll get him. We don't need you, Jay. I don't know what is happening. All my all my off, my shit's yeah. just falling off over here on this up and down show on this day today. Uh, we love you, Brandon. We love you. What's up? You're already at the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. You're on the ground We're already? here. Maybe can we take the wide shot? We've got a fun set. I know you are coming here with the I Am Athlete Empire. Y'all be doing, you know, Hamilton. We're doing our What's thing. What's up, Hamilton? What's up, Hammy? We got we to gotta add our social yeah, media producer to the show. We can, talk, we can talk business. Let's do um, it. Let's do listen, it. tell us about your plans. Tell us about your plans Your plans for Super Bowl. Obviously, we got six days to go. Big game. You got the Chiefs and Eagles. What are the things you're sort of looking at? I know you're riding high on the Eagles. Are you worried about the shoulder? Because I am. Of Hurts? No. Yeah. We talked about this. Remember, if he can't throw, guess what they can do? They can run. But the illusion of him being able to throw is going to keep the Chiefs on their heels. Why? You know, they did a great job for us that last game saying he looked phenomenal. He looked great. Why did they do that? Because they didn't want to, to the defense to feel like they can make this offense one-dimensional. This is a dynamic offense. Why are they dynamic, right? It's not because you're not the, the, the what is it called, the greatest show on turf. They're not, they're not Patrick Mahomes that can, yeah. you know, make a big play and score a touchdown anytime they want. They're not Peyton Manning. They're not those guys. What they are is very simple. I wish offensive coordinators growing up will take note to pay attention. It's about the players and not about the plays. If the box is loaded, you got two dogs on the outside, throw the go balls, throw the back shoulders, throw the slants, throw the nine stops. If they're trying to play coverage because they're they're getting crushed in a passing game, guess what they're going to do, Kay? We're going to run the ball. It's not that hard. You don't have to do all the wiggly, diggly yeah. uh, little lines to get guys open. <laughs> players, not plays. Yeah, it all makes sense. Everything you're saying. They've got the best offensive line. Their D-line is crazy and scary. Christian Kirk, who just had a career year with Jacksonville, he played the Eagles. It was raining. It was crazy. And I said, what's the scariest part? And he goes, because they can beat you in any way. They can give you a defensive performance to get a win. They can run all over you when they need to. And then Jalen can pass when he can. And all, yes, my, all the, it's sure, it can be the Eagles. But then you look at the other side. How do you say that Patrick Mahomes isn't going to win this Super Bowl, you know? Yeah, because it's not all about Patrick Mahomes, right? You know, the, we're talking about a team effort, coaching effort. It's going to take all of that. Hell, you know, I've never made it to a Super Bowl. It shows you how hard it's hard. A lot of our, a lot of our guys, and there's some great players, has never made it to a Super Bowl. It takes everybody, not only just the players, but the support staff. It takes the ball boys, ball girls, the equipment managers. It's going to take everybody, all hands on deck. Like he said, they have everything you need. I ain't even talk about the defense. The defense, this defense can do everything. And in that front seven, they allow the second, the secondary to play even lights out because they don't have to cover as long. This is a very scary team and very scary matchup for the Kansas City, Kansas City Chiefs. I'm taking them plus ten. Is that a call a boost on FanDuel or something? I don't know what it's called on FanDuel. I don't know. But I'm gonna go take when I they get there. Make I get on the ground. I get there Wednesday, Kay. You and I are gonna go to the FanDuel Sportsbook. Okay. I'm gonna take a stack of stack of hundreds. It's gonna add up to about a thousand because I bet responsibly. Only bet what I can afford to lose, and then I'm gonna put that on the, the Eagles to win plus ten. Hopefully, that bring me in something big. Wow. How much of that is your worry with these Chiefs receivers? I'm not worried about the Chiefs receivers. Uh, 
Patrick Mahomes already uh, overcome that, right? I think they're, you know, when you look at mm-hmm. the, the stats uh, compared to this this year, compared to the years he had Tyree Hill, um, I, I, I think he's, he, he's, he's performing even better, more efficient, right? And it's probably because of that. When you know you don't have that dy- as of a dynamic guy outside like that, you have to use your mind. You have to elevate your game. And he is ascending, and I, I disagree with Tom. On one thing, Tom is a very smart guy. He said a lot of amazing things, right? I do believe he's ascending, but he's not ascending to a place where he's going to be with Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. And what I mean by what I disagree is there's Tom Brady, then there's Peyton Manning, and then there's the others. And I do see Patrick Mahomes getting to Peyton Manning and potentially getting up there. With, well, no, he can't get to Tom because you got to win at least four Super Bowls, right? Four to be in a discussion. Yeah. And then he still got two on you? I don't know. You're not wrong. We'll see what happens uh, in this game six days from now. You get here on Wednesday. uh, And then part of the festivities, NFL Honors is on Thursday night. The Hall of Fame class and all of that. So Devin Hester, best Devin Hester story. Mm -hmm. You've talked about him a lot here on Up and Adams. But give him his love. This is pretty incredible and so well deserved. Love Devin Hester. He told me I was too tough. He told me I need to listen to more R&B. He said, before you go home, just listen to a bunch of R&B. So he made me sit there in his living room and put together a whole R&B playlist. I used to go to his house every single day when I first got there after practice and we would play pool. Uh, in camp, we would be up till 3 in the morning. Curfew? Forget curfew, K. Okay? Me and him, and what is it called? Bourbon A's? We would be in the dormitories playing this game called Corridor. Shirts off, sweating, freaking just competing. It was just an amazing time with Devin Hester. He's one of my all-time favorite teammates, ultimate competitors, and he should have been in the first time around, Kate. Uh, Brandon Marshall, we love having you. We're going to let you go. You're hot. You're hot. hot. You're hot, meaning from Jay Cutler. I'm hot. No, 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 not that hot. No, no. You're hot. Like, I'm hot. No, I'm I'm not hot. You're not over it. You're not over it. I'm not. You know what? Can I... Can I tell you something? Maybe I need to go listen to some R&B music, first of all. Hamilton saying, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm going to do it. Uh, what? And, and you being upset at someone for breaking commitments. We can get into all that, too. What is too, that supposed to mean? You know. He's, oh, because I'm flaky? <laughs> <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Yeah, My I mean, thing you is, said it. I'm not mad about it, but you know what? You know, what I'm, you know who I'm mad at, Brandon? Me. You. I'm mad at so me because I knew. I knew. You knew. I fell for it. I knew. I knew he wouldn't come on, and we didn't have any other. We we, we were like, nope, we're good. But I I knew when I I I, I got burned. I got catfished. Whatever that, that is. I got Angelina by him. It, it wasn't. Jay Whatever Cutler. that is. By it wasn't Jake Cutler you were talking to. Wow. Yeah. If, <laughs> maybe it was the maybe it was the bodybuilder Jay Cutler. Do you know him? Have you ever yes. seen that? Do we have the image of the bodybuilder, Jay Cutler? Derek, can we put, put that up here? Uh, yeah, so I'm not mad at him. I'm mad at me because I knew better. And it's just another time that the Chicago Bears stings me and punches me in the face. That's it. That's all I'll say. Hey, you talk to this There's Jay, Jay Cutler. Let's see if he has availability to yeah. join us. Uh-oh. Maybe Jay we'll Cutler will come on our show. We'll take him. <laughs> Let's get Jay Cutler or He'll love to come on. The original Jay Cutler. You know who I think... Yeah, do you know who might join our show later this week? Aaron Rodgers. And let me tell you, if we book Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers will come on that show. See, there you go Aaron Rodgers and this green color is why I talk down on Chicago, and I will always champion the Packers as long as it's Aaron Rodgers. Hey, you might go meet up with your boy. There you go, Flake. There there you go, betting on another flaky guy. You can't do that. It's true. You Man, you gotta, gotta, sh- you gotta, gotta shrink wait. me here. You gotta wait what until he's like in the green room and then say, hey, God, I'm here. Hearing... Yeah, Aaron Rodgers to the Raiders, me- reuniting with Javante Adams. What do you got? McDaniels is the coach. Does that work? Well, for there you? was a report. Well, Kay, there was a report today that said Aaron Rodgers prefers the uh, New York Jets over any other team. I know Devontae's out there doing a discount double check in the Pro Bowl. I know he's out there saying, hey, come to my city. But Aaron Rodgers seems to prefer the New York football Jets. 
what's going to be interesting for me, because I'm a big Jets fan, as you know. I love the Jets. That's my team. When he gets there, you know, I've been hard on Aaron. I've been more hard on the Packers, but I've also been hard on on, 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 on Aaron Rodgers. So hopefully they'll still let me in the in the building, on the sideline, and um, maybe Aaron <laughs> and I can have a conversation too. I mean, maybe I would ask you to come on when he comes on, but, I mean, Jay Cutler might have found out that you were coming on the show. Y'all didn't tell Jay that? And that's why he bailed. Did y'all not tell Jay I was coming? We told him. Oh, okay. All right. Well, the I, that's the answer. No, we told Jay that's you were answer. coming. Yeah. Is that really, Mike? That might be it. Oh boy. Why, why are you all, what's, what's wrong with you and him? I don't Yesterday. know. Last time we talked, we were, we huh? Today? Yes. That was it then. That was that, that, that may have been it then. I mean, the last time we talked, we were talking about, I was supposed, his team reached out to me about going on his podcast. I said, I'll do his podcast if he does mine. Right? We were talking, we rekindled on, in the DMs. And, um, yeah, that, we haven't talked in like uh, probably almost a year now. Almost a year. That's that was it. Hamilton shaking his head. Brandon, you can't give her an in to blame you now. Now this is going to be on you. <laughs> no, no, no. Brandon, <laughs> Brandon's family. We will see you on Wednesday. I am athlete uh, Empire, of course. You guys will be doing your thing here, running Super Bowl. We love you. Thank you for hopping on. You are the best, Brandon Marshall, everybody. Love Thank you, buddy. Bye. I thought he was saying I was hot. I was like, okay, great. Thanks, buddy. This year, the only app you need at your Super Bowl party is FanDuel, America's number one sportsbook. Download it now so you can bet Super Bowl 57 with a no-sweat first bet. You'll get up to $3,000 Wow, back in bonus bets if your first bet doesn't win. Unless you're Hamilton and you don't ever need this because your bets always hit. Join today to claim your no-sweat first bet. Make every moment more with FanDuel. That sounds very Valentine's Day. Make every moment more with FanDuel, official sportsbook party partner of the NFL. Can we pull up my manifested wish list and just blow that to hell right away since Cutler said we have the first one? We'd have the white whale. We have great guests lined up. Aaron Rodgers said he'd come on our show. Sean Payton said he would come on our show. Tomorrow, who else we got? Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey. I think half of the Bosa Kittle. brothers. Yeah, George Kittle might stop by. Yeah, and I have a hot date to honors. Oh, that I we need it. to talk about. I got to listen. I got a hot day to honors. That red carpet's going to be um, like something you've never seen before. That's what I would say. I should add that yeah. to this list. Get to get yeah. rid of Jay Cutler and put hot date to NFL honors. Uh, three tight ends on our show. Gronk will be on our show, I believe, on Wednesday. His kick of destiny is on Sunday. There's huge signs everywhere here in Phoenix for that. If I was Gronk and I saw those, I'd get a little stressed. It's yeah. larger than life what's going on. I don't know. I, I feel like it doesn't bother him, the pressure. Yeah. You know, he's, he's, he's done so much. He's so laid back. Yeah. I feel like he's going to I feel like he's going to nail it. I have yeah. a lot of confidence in Gronk. We've got Pat McAfee running around somewhere. I think his show happens right after ours. It's a bit slow on the old media row. Hey, thanks to Tom Curran for stepping in. Yeah, uh, and I don't know what else is going on. We have a bar. I hear things being shaken. And oh, drunk. yeah. That makes me the happy. The drinks are getting poured. That makes me very happy. Um, and I think that's it for us here. So we have a lot to look forward to. Appreciate Christian Kirk. Do you like that he says he wants to be the best wide receiver? That was awesome. Yeah. You got to have that attitude. He might be, out. though. Like, he's good, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially in the slot. He's one of the best, best in the slot. And he's, uh, I mean, the year that he had really showed a lot of people, proved a lot of people wrong. Yeah. A lot of people, as you said, were questioning that contract. And for him to step up and do what he did, was yeah, th that was a statement this year. Love that. So tomorrow, who do we have? We got Garrett Wilson. We got Mark Andrews. Oh, Mark Andrews. Oh, that's another tight end. Yeah. Okay, so that's two of three. He'll be on the show. Um, and we, what are you saying? What Richard's like, this is Richard go. Do this, do this. We gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go. Pat McAfee will be here uh, right after this. Not on FanDuel TV, but on YouTube, of course. We love him, and we will see you guys back uh, tomorrow.